playing football at the top level is one of the best ways to earn millions in this day and age but contrary to popular belief not all football players remain wealthy for the rest of their lives there are many many things that can go wrong now apart from that football isn't a career that is sustainable forever as players get old they get slower and younger players who have more kilometers in their legs come along all the time the money comes in fast in the big leagues but it can go away even faster for those players who don't learn how to handle their cash and who make unwise investments with their money that they earn when you're at the top of the football world it can be easy to forget about the real value of money and start spending more than you realistically can likewise most players forget to plan for their future once the inevitable happens when their playing days are over they rely on the money that they have in their bank accounts to keep up with their lavish lifestyle now of course this isn't sustainable forever as lavish spending coupled with a lack of financial planning have led many world famous football players from riches to rags throughout history so what are some of the reasons why many footballers often go broke after their career ends we're going to take a look at the top 10 psl footballers who have gone broke now if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that red subscribe button hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads with that said hello and welcome to raid live number 10 jethro musala he was often referred to as lovers jethro musala is one of many south african football players who let his fame get the better of him in 1997 jethro joined mamilodi sundowns and quickly became a star in south africa this stardom would cost him dearly as he quickly allowed women and parties to take priority in his life ahead of football to his dismay his playboy lifestyle would not only see him leave the club and wander from one team to another for about a decade but also lose all his hard-earned money today masala is age 44 and according to the rumors he is completely broke despite his big earnings in the past now in addition he also squandered the potential to become a worldwide superstar in a facebook post in 2016 he wrote the following this post is an advice for current soccer players don't be like most of us while we were playing soccer we did not study playing soccer will not guarantee you a job after you retire most soccer players are from a poor background when we had the money the first thing we did is buy cars and rent a townhouse and have a new girlfriend we even forgot where we came from we grew up being good kids listening to our parents when our parents told us to invest we didn't listen when they told us to stick to one woman and stop wasting money we said it is my money we dumped our first girlfriends that we had when we were playing on the dusty streets this is definitely a very insightful and informative post i suggest that you do go give it a read Number 9, Tembinkosi Fanteni, known as Terra for his earlier career heroics in front of goal. His senior soccer career started at Mother City FC, where he made 82 appearances and scored 75 goals. Now, Fanteni had what it takes to move into the big leagues and become an international star. When he was young, Fanteni was scouted by many European clubs, but his love for alcohol and parties led him away from the pitch and into an abyss and great financial woes. Fanteni is currently 36 years old to this day he is still playing football but thanks to the many scandals and the general lack of discipline the striker went from a superstar to what a lot of people say is mediocrity and never became the player that he could have become this has undoubtedly reflected on his bank accounts Number 8, Junaid Hartley. Like many, many South African players, Hartley had talent. But unfortunately, he did not have the proper discipline to make it in football. During his career, he showed a lack of discipline and patience on many occasions. And he is rumored to have lost most of his money in a failed lawsuit against his former team, Orlando Pirates. Now, after his career ended, Hartley apparently developed a substance abuse problem, which led him to rehab and loss of any sort of income. Today, the 41 one year old Hartley is trying to recover from all the loss that he has suffered but his story is one that every South African player should hear and take a lesson from. The current report says that he is coaching the under 11 team in the education through soccer academy. Number 7 Jabu Masangu. Davidson born Jabu Masangu who is also known as Jabu Pule Shuffle or Trouble Child is another case of a South African footballer letting alcohol and parties drag him away from his true calling as a football superstar at the age of 19 the midfielder started playing for Kaiser Chiefs and scored 27 goals over his five years at the club back in those days Pule had a promising career ahead of him and was destined for great things according to his own admissions 
Bule had an alcohol problem at a very young age coming from a background of alcohol abuse in his family. He also warned footballers not to invest their hard earned money in luxury cars. Unfortunately, such a lifestyle led him to end his career without ever making it to top level football or making the wealth that he could have if he continued improving his skills and playing the beautiful game of football. The 39 year old Jabu Mahlangu is now a motivational speaker, a TV analyst and an ambassador of Super Sports United. Number 6 Mbulelo Mabizela Often referred to as Old John, which was his mother's maiden name, Mbulelo Mabizela was an exceptional football player all the way back in 2003 when he joined Tottenham Hotspurs. He also became the youngest player to head up the South African national team and had every chance to become a world-class footballer. If he had continued on his football stardom path, Mabizela could have become a legendary African footballer, but problems with alcohol and substance abuse caught up with him. Mabizela first got into trouble for substance abuse while at Tottenham in 2004, followed by a stunt with the national team where he failed to appear for a training session as well as a match. In 2006, Mabizela received a six-month ban from football for using illegal substances. He returned to South Africa where he is still playing football. He is now 39 years old and most football experts agree that he squandered his massive talent and skill in a big way. Number 5 Philemon Masinga Born in 1969, the late Phil Masinga became the hero of South Africa when he scored the fateful goal against Congo to take his team to the 1998 World Cup in France. Masinga played for Bari as well as Leeds United in Europe as well as a number of other African football teams. Over the course of his career, the striker amassed quite a fortune and was said to be a proficient businessman after he made a number of his investments work well for him. Once upon a time, it was reported that he was a multi-millionaire who owned petrol stations, boutiques and nightclubs. However, it does appear that his investments as well as businesses went sideways as it is reported and rumored that he lost all of his money and his mansion and eventually had to move back to his mother's house in Soweto. He was also declared bankrupt back in 2011. The late Philemon Masinga passed away in 2019 at the age of 49. Number 4 Steve Likolea Having spent most of his career at Orlando Pirates, Steve aka Chipa is yet another South African player who had the kind of talent that could see him playing European football and battling it out with great players of his time. Now according to the reports, it was the good life that got the best of Chipa as alcohol, gambling as well as parties took the talented player off course and kept him at the same level for most of his career. He is currently 41 years old and is rumored to be broke and without much success in his personal life and it all seems due to the fact that he didn't reach his full potential. Now the reports also do say that he has started his de-licensing coaching course and he has sights on becoming a coach. Number 3 Ndumiso Vezi once one of the most promising midfielders in the PSL, Vezi has seen his footballing dream turn into a nightmare he just can't seem to wake up from. According to a Sowetan article, the Ajax Cape Town midfielder who used to race past defenders at lightning speed now sits at home in deep depression and relying on his father's pension money for survival after a feud with his club turned ugly. Vezi reportedly survived a hit and run in 2013 which left him fighting for his life but just as he was recovering from the experience he was allegedly slapped with a medical bill the club deemed that he had to pay back. This apparently led to an argument with the club. Now according to the paper after two days back at training he got into an argument with an assistant coach. He was told to leave the session. He was later served a letter asking him to vacate his lodgings provided by the club. He returned to his home in KZN but Ajax refused to pay him or release him from his contract. The situation has gotten so drastic that his family say that they fear that he may soon take his life out of sheer depression. Vezi, who is currently 28 years old, has been without a team since 2014. The quick rise and fall of Ndumiso Vezi is one of the saddest football stories in the PSL era. Number 2 Benedict Villagazi 
a player who had a world of expectations thrust upon his shoulders from the very beginning of his senior football career fell by the wayside with his controversial lifestyle. His professional soccer career was rocked by six scandals with juveniles including being dragged to court which in turn prohibited his move to Sweden. After that he moved from club to club but disciplinary issues followed him everywhere and he ended up quitting the game at the age of 30. In 2019 the now 37 year old Villagazi featured on the television show I Blew It where he revealed how he blew his money. Number 1 Teko Mudise the midfielder comes as a bit of a shock to be honest. News broke on a Sunday World article that the retired footballer Teko Modise is about to be booted out of his multi-million rand home after allegedly dribbling past his bond repayments. Now according to the reports, Teko Modise's credit profile was negatively affected when he lost his houses and cars due to non-payment about 5 years ago. Teko Modise who is currently 37 years old is now a staff member at Cape Town City. And that is the end of the list. Let this be a great reminder for the younger generation that being a footballer means leading a true sporting life and keeping away from anything that could destroy your career. Now if you did enjoy the video do give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your family, your friends and your enemies, confuse the hell out of everybody and as always thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.